Good morning, everyone. This is uh, Twice for Him Ministries coming to you, and we want to welcome you this morning uh, to our Sunday morning broadcast. We are recording and videotaping simultaneously again today uh, so that uh, it makes it easier on us and, uh, as we do our recordings. It is a blessing to us to be able to come and share Christ with you each and every Sunday. Let's open today's program with prayer, can we? Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to sing and to read your word to those who have tuned in today. May you bless them as they listen to the words and watch the video. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, this week it seems like since the weather has been a little warmer that maybe old man winter is slipping away and that the spring and the warmth of spring is coming. Uh, some of the snow has been going away even though at the time of this recording it's still snowing a little bit. But we're grateful that it's time for spring. We're moving into the time where we remember the Passover meal that Christ shared with his disciples just before he was to be betrayed and sentenced to death. We are very happy though that God raised him back from the dead. And that is how we know that we can have salvation through him. Today Nancy and I would like to sing a medley of songs that are about just that. The old rugged cross made the difference I believe in a hill called Mount Calvary, and my faith still holds. May you be blessed as you listen to the words. Was a life filled with aimless desperation. Without hope, walked a shell of a
concerning the Son of Man shall be accomplished. For he shall be delivered unto the Gentiles and shall be mocked and spitefully entreated and spit it on. And they shall scourge him and put him to death. And the third day he shall rise again. And they understood none of these things. And this saying was hid from them. Neither knew they the things which were spoken. The you know, the disciples were listening, but they did not understand what Jesus was actually saying. Because they cannot could not imagine why anyone would scourge him. Why would they want to kill him? Because of his great love for all mankind. But he was stepping on the toes of the hierarchy of the church of that day. He was stepping on the Roman church, the Roman government's toes. 
You know, how could a man who could raise people from the dead be stopped if he was really their king? So they had to find a way to do away with him. Which is where Judas Iscariot comes in. And we know that when he betrayed Christ, it was the beginning of the end of his ministry here. But even though he went through all that torture, and he took all that pain, he took it for you and for me. It was because of us that he went through that. And that his blood and that was spilled on that cross that day was to cover our sin and to deliver us from sin from, from now on for all mankind. And all we must do is to come to Him and to seek His face and to ask Him for forgiveness and let Him know that we want to serve Him because we want to live eternally with Him. Because without Jesus Christ in our life, there is no hope. Those who do not believe have no real hope. They have a fake hope here in this time of life. But when the day has come, when they stand in judgment before Him, He's either going to say, Enter into the joys of the Holy Lord, or depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So today, if you do not know Christ, seek Him. Ask Him to come into your heart. And then get into His Word and read what it says for us to do. It's very important because the time is coming when He's going to return again. He's going to take His church away. And the rough times in life of the wrath of God is going to be poured out upon the people that are left behind. We ask that you consider this today. If you've made Jesus your choice today, let us know. We can be reached by calling 715-216-2288 or by visiting our website and visiting it at www.twiceforhimministries.org. Go to the contact page. Send us a note about the decisions you've made. You can also visit the donate page if you wish to help support the ministry of us here on the radio and on the YouTube ministry and throughout the churches that we go to. Thank you for joining us today. We are glad that you have tuned in. We love you as Christ loves you. And now until we meet again, may the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Nancy, let's sing the chorus I will praise him and my faith still holds. Thank you.